It was on this day 35 years ago that a PSA plane crashed in a North Park neighborhood, killing 144 people. Attendance reporter Steve Fiorina looks at how the crash still deeply affects those who lived through that tragedy. The last moments of PSA flight 182. Pictures taken seconds after it collided with a Cessna over North Park, September 1978. All souls lost. 137 on the planes, seven in the neighborhood below. The priest said, I'm sorry to tell you that your brother was on a plane that crashed today. It was Myra's first day at UC Davis. Her brother Michael had just left there for his first day at UC San Diego, flying because of car trouble. Instead of him being able to come back by car, um, he had to take the flight from Sacramento. Michael Bagnus was between classes at St. Augustine High, four blocks away. Sorry, it's just so vivid. I just remember looking at the side of that plane and you could just feel, you could feel the people screaming. He remembers the earth shaking, a huge fireball, and the fear. I was scared to come home that day because I thought I would have lost my second mother because my grandmother had adopted me. So I already lost one mother. I remember telling my friends, they said, run home, run home. And I'm like, I can't lose two mothers in one lifetime. She was fine. Many others weren't. We had such a great um, block of time that I'll never forget. The hope is to create a permanent memorial here at the crash site, honoring every victim. Steve Fiorina, 10 News. Those who lost loved ones also voiced gratitude that air travel safety dramatically improved in the wake of that crash. We want to give you a closer look at where the crash happened. This is a wide view here of the North Park area and the PSA flight crashed right near the 805 in this area. The bulk of the debris was all scattered down here closer to Nile and Dwight. Pieces of the debris were even found up toward Boundary Street, but part of the Cessna, the largest piece, landed six blocks away, way up here at 32nd and Polk Avenue.